लक्ष्मी आंटी अली अनिमे एंड सी के डी इज वेरी कॉमन एंड दिस सी के डी पेशेंट्स यूजली प्रेजेंट विद जनरलाइज वीकनेस ईजी फेटिकबिलिटी अनेबल टू वॉक समटाइम्स इट कैन लीड टू कोम ऑबिलिटीज सच एज कंजेस्ट गाड़ी फेलियर कॉजेस फॉर अनिमिया इन सी के डी पेशेंट्स मेनली इज बिकॉज ऑफ एरेथ्रोपोटिन डिफिशेंसी As the CKD progresses, the EPO production from the uh, parenchyma of the uh, kidneys decreases, and this can lead to uh, anemia. Second is iron deficiency. There is uh, called functional iron deficiency in CKD patients. Uh, second, uh, there is a decrease absorption of iron from the body. So this there will be uh, there can be iron deficiency anemia in these patients. Third. Uh, patient uh, will have vitamin B12 deficiency. Uh, this vitamin B12 uh, uh, deficiency can have happen because of decreased absorption per se, or it can be because of uh, loss of vitamin B12 during dialysis uh, in the dialyzer. Fourth, because of uh, uremia itself, uh, there is an inflammation uh, in the in the body, and because there is an inflammation in the body, uh, this causes bone marrow suppression. Uh, as well as uh, uh, the decreased lifespan of the RBC. So the other cause of uh, di- uh, anemia and CKD can be because of blood loss during dialysis. So these are the few causes of uh, anemia and CKD. How do we treat? So first we will see what is the cause. Uh, if there is iron deficiency, we correct iron. Once iron deficiency is corrected, then we give uh, uh, EPO supplements. So we either give you erythropoietin or darpipoietin. Uh, now newer drugs have come, oral newer uh, drugs have also come. Uh, Desidostat, which is hypoxic induced factor inhibitor, I think. Uh, that can also be used uh, when there is a, when you are suspecting uh, EPO deficiency. So, thank you. What? Good afternoon, I am Dr. Dinesh, Concerned in Nephrologist practicing in uh, Bangalore. So our CKD patients usually they complain of weakness. So what is the cause for weakness in our CKD patients? Uh, the most common cause uh, for weakness in the CKD patients is uh, anemia. So why there will be anemia in CKD? Let us define anemia. Anemia is characterized by decreased uh, number of uh, RBCs or, dec- in a, or uh, RBCs uh, to carry the oxygen okay, from the lungs to the body. So when there is when there is decreased anemia, so the uh, the patient can uh, can have generalized weakness, fatigue, uh, uh, difficulty in walking, difficulty in concentrating. Patient uh, can also have uh, uh, congestive cardiac failure, like breathlessness on uh, climbing the uh, uh, climbing the steps. So all these are a feature of uh, heart uh, features of severe uh, anemia. So, how do we classify anemia in a normal population as well as stage CKD stage 1 and stage 4? Stage four, we classify anemia when, uh, when the, in males if the hemoglobin is less than 13 gram per dl and in females it is less than 12 grams per dl. In CKD stage 5, once patient is on dialysis, then we keep a hemoglobin uh, range between 10 to 11.5 grams per dl. This is to decrease the risk of cardiovascular events. Like once the hemoglobin grows more than 12 grams, studies have shown that patient can have cardiovascular events such as MI, clotting tendency in AV fistula, or uh, there can be a stroke in the brain, or there can be a clot in the brain. So these are the features of uh, 
uh, I mean the events are more when the hemoglobin is more than 12 grams. So, that is why we keep a range between uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 to 11.5 grams per dl in a CKD on, dial uh, on dialysis. Now, comes the cause for uh, any mechanism of anemia in a CKD patients. See, the, there is a thing which is produced in the kidneys called erythropoietin, and this erythropoietin is very important in the production of hemoglobin. As uh, this erythropoietin is produced on pericapillary uh, cells of the uh, kidneys, when the kidney function comes down, the production of AEPO also comes down, and this leads to decreased production of RBCs. So, that is the reason why uh, one uh, the most common cause is uh, erythropoietin deficiency, second is iron deficiency. Iron deficiency can be because of nutrition, because of uremia, they cannot eat. There is a functional iron deficiency because the iron is not easily absorbed or carried uh, in the production of uh, RBCs. Uh, third is uh, uh, decreased absorption from the uh, gut, <coughs> this is iron deficiency anemia. So, again the anemia can be because of vitamin B12 deficiency, again it because of decreased absorption or decreased nutrition. Uh, lead to macrocytic anemia in CKD patients. Uh, also, there can be folic acid deficiency. The patients on dialysis, there can be vitamin B12 and folic acid deficiency because these are water soluble vitamins which are lost in the dialysis. Okay, this is about uh, vitamin B12 deficiency and uh, folic acid deficiency. And fourth cause is uh, during dialysis, uh, there can be a loss of blood because the blood has to be removed from the AV fistula or uh, AV axis and it has to go to the dialyzer to get uh, dialyzed. So, there can be a loss of uh, bl blood in the during dialysis. The other causes, because uh, in CKD patient, because of uremia, there will be platelet dysfunction. Because of this, there can be a GI bleed or uremic ulcers can be there and from there, there can be bleed. And most of the CKD patients will be on antiplatelets and this antiplatelets can cause erosions of the gut and can there can be a bleed in the <coughs> GI tract. So, these are the most common cause for anemia in CKD patients. So, how do we treat uh, anemia in CKD patients? So, the first more thing is because vitamin, uh, because there is erythropoietin deficiency. First, we evaluate everything. Uh, is there any uh, iron deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency or uh, 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 other causes of uh, anemia? If we are suspecting it is because anemia of CKD, then we give erythropoietin. And also we see if there is a steat stat is very less less than 20 then we try to increase the iron supplements. IV is preferred over the oral. Uh, we also see vitamin B12 deficiency or folic acid deficiency if this anemia is not getting corrected. Also make sure there is a loss of uh, to prevent the loss of blood uh, from externally from AV fistula or GI tract. So, these are the way of treating uh, anemia in CKD. There are newer drugs like uh, Desiderostat that is uh, hypoxic, uh, hypoxia induced factor uh, uh, inhibitors, receptor inhibitors where again there is increased production of EPO, uh, where these are oral tablets whereas uh, erythropoietin and uh, darbipoietin are given IVR subcutaneous. So, nowadays we are using uh, this uh, Desiderostat uh, as orally that is 100 milligrams uh, thrice a week. Uh, so, we have we are seeing a good result in that. There are newer drugs I think uh, which is not yet come to the market. Uh, so, erythropoietin and long standing erythropoietin like uh, uh, darbipoietin are the newer drugs we can uh, say. So, this is regarding anemia of CKD uh, or anemia because in we, what we see in CKD and that uh, this is how we manage it. Thank you.